So as clearly mentioned here that even the great personalities like a Brahma, Indra and so on, they are also in this material world. And whoever are, are there in this material world can't realize the Supreme Personality of a God unless and until they bring themselves up to the Brahminical standard. And that's where the first word itself ends with the Dhimahi, which, which invokes the Gayatri Mantra. Then further, Prabhupada says that the chief engineer of a complicated construction does not personally take part in the construction. But he knows every nook and corner because everything is done under his direction. He knows everything about the construction, both directly and indirectly. Similarly, the personality of a Godhead, who is the supreme engineer of the cosmic creation, knows every nook and corner, although affairs are being carried out by the demigods. Beginning from Brahma down to the insignificant ant, no one is independent in the material creation. The hand of the Lord is seen everywhere. All material elements as well as spiritual spark emanate from him only. And whatever he created in this material world is but the interaction of two energies, the material and the spiritual, which emanate from the absolute truth, the personality of a Godhead, Sri Krishna. A chemist can manufacture water in the chemical laboratory by mixing hydrogen and oxygen. But in reality, the living entity works in the laboratory under the direction of the Supreme Lord and the materials with which he works are also supplied by the Lord. The Lord knows everything directly and indirectly and he is cognizant of all minute details and he is fully independent. He is compared to a mine of gold and the cosmic creations in so many different forms are compared to objects made from the gold, such as gold rings, necklaces and so on. The gold ring and the gold necklaces are quantitatively, oh sorry, qualitatively one with the gold in the mine, but quantitatively the gold in the mine is different. Therefore, the absolute truth is simultaneously one and different. Nothing is absolutely equal with the absolute truth, but at the same time, nothing is independent of the absolute truth. No need to explain furthermore, because he has given a wonderful example of gold and gold mine. So, once we understand that, what is our position? So, he actually creating a background so that we can understand our own position. And then we can understand the Supreme Personality of God. Because unless and unless you know your weaknesses and your, uh, what we call as a strength, then you can't work on that. So here he is making us a platform on which we can stand upon and see the Lord. Then further, Prabhupada says that conditioned souls beginning from Brahma, who engineers the entire universe, down to this insignificant act, are all creating, but none of them are independent of the Supreme Lord. The materialist wrongly thinks that there is a no creator other than his own self. This is called Maya or illusion. Because of his poor fund of knowledge, the materialist cannot see beyond the purview of his imperfect senses and thus he thinks that matter automatically takes its own shape without the aid of the superior intelligence. This is refused in the shloka by Srila Vyasadeva. Since the complete whole or the absolute truth is the source of everything, nothing can be independent of the body of the absolute truth. Whatever happens to the body quickly becomes known to the embodied. Similarly, the creation is the body of the Absolute Whole. Therefore, the Absolute knows everything directly and indirectly that happens in the creation. 
सो नाउ ही इज प्रिपेरिंग अस टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेकंड कैंटो बिकॉज इन द सेकंड कैंटो द होल विश्व रूप द विश्व पुरुष एज लॉर्ड एज अ विराट रूप हैज एक्सप्लेन सो वाइड हैज एक्सप्लेन so that we can understand that nothing is separate from the lord in the previous para he has given a wonderful example of the main chief engineer as he knows he may have drawn planned everything and he gives to someone else even though he is not present there but he knows each and every corners because it's his brain child so same way this world and in this world whatever we also do it is also known and to make us understand that he has given example of the body if something hurts somewhere the embody i am residing in this body so i know in which part of the body has happened that even though it's not happening to me it's happening to my body but being in this body and cause of this body that that gives me the reason so same way lord is cognizant as we are cognizant of this body whatever capacities we have not all otherwise doctor will be not there or not psychiatrists we don't have to run to them that what has happened to you but lord he is a cognizant as he knows that what's and who and where what happened then he says in this shruti mantra it is also stated that the absolute whole or a brahman is the ultimate source of everything everything emanates from him and everything is maintained by him and at the end everything enters into him that is the law of nature in the smriti mantra the same is confirmed it is said that the source of which everything emanates at the beginning brahma's millennium the reservoir to which everything ultimately enters is the absolute truth or brahma material scientists take it for a granted that the ultimate source of a planetary system is the sun but they are unable to explain the source of the sun so he is like a clarifying the so called uh, what they call theories of manifestation or creation he says that according to the vedic literatures brahma who may be compared to the sun is not the ultimate creator it is stated in the shloka that brahma was taught vedic knowledge by the personality of god it one may argue that brahma being the original living being could not be inspired because there was no other being living at that time simple thing if you want to do something if nobody is there to look at you why you will do it makes sense so brahma when he was created there was nothing so he was confused what to do now because you want to do something to show someone it's not for you that's the nature of this material world and here it is stated that supreme lord inspired the secondary creator tene brahma ruda adi kavaye in brahma's heart he gave them inspiration that means there was someone in order that brahma could carry out his creative functions so the supreme intelligence behind all creation is the absolute godhead sri krishna in bhagavad gita lord krishna states that it is he only who superintends the creative energy prakriti which constitutes the totality of matter therefore shri vyasadev does not worship brahma but supreme lord who guides brahma <coughs> keshava In Bhagavad Gita Lord Sri Krishna states that it is he only who superintends the creative energy prakriti which constitutes the totality of matter therefore Sri Vyasadeva does not worship Brahma but the supreme lord who guides Brahma in his creative activities 
in this shlok the particular words abhidnyaha and swarat are significant mm-hmm. these two words distinguish the supreme lord from all the other living entities no other living entity is either abhidnya or swarat that is no one is either fully cognizant or fully independent even brahma has to meditate upon the supreme lord in order to create the first living being the living creature in this world then what to speak of us then what to speak of a general scientist like einstein the brain of such a scientist are certainly not the product of a human being scientists cannot manufacture such a brain and what to speak of a foolish atheist who defy the authority of the lord even mayavadi impersonalist who flatter themselves that they can become one with lord are neither abhidnya or swara such a impersonalist undergo severe austerities to acquire knowledge to become one with the lord but ultimately they become dependent on some rich disciple who supplies them with the money to build monasteries and the temple <coughs> atheists like ramana or hiranyakashipu had to undergo severe penances before they could flout the authority of the lord but ultimately they were rendered helpless and could not save themselves when the lord appeared before them as cruel death this is also the case with the modern atheists who also dare to flout the authority of the lord such a atheist will be dealt with the similarly for his for history repeats itself whenever men neglect the authority of the lord nature and her laws are there to penalize them this is confirmed in bhagavad gita in the well known verse yada yada hi dharmasya whenever there is a decline of dharma and a rise of adharma or arjuna then i incarnate myself so it is clear and unless and until we really understand about this if it is not clear to us that whom we are speaking about that will not develop interest in us you don't want to hear someone you don't know do you no even you do gossip you do gossip with with the people whom you know actually <laughs> then to understand such a elaborate scripture you need to know about whom you are speaking about and propat very wonderfully he is clarifying in his purport then he further says that the supreme lord is all perfect it's confirmed in all shruti mantras it is said in shruti mantras that the all perfect lord threw a glance over matter and thus created all living beings even brahma samhita also says that ya karana yastvin in that verse he says that just by glancing on that material nature everything manifests the living beings are parts and the parcels of the lord and he impregnating the vast material creation with seeds of a spiritual parts aham bija pradapita 
Tasam Brahma Mahat Yonir Aham Bija Prada Puta. He is the seed giving father. An atheist may argue that God is no more expert than the watchmaker. But of course, God is greater because he can create machines in duplicate male and female forms. Can we? The male and female forms of a different types of machineries goes on producing innumerable similar machines without God's further attention. If a man could manufacture such a set of machines that could produce other machines without his attention, then he could approach the intelligence of God. But that is not possible, for each machine has to be handled individually. Therefore, no one can create as well as God. Another name of God is a sama urdhva. So nobody is equal to him and nobody higher to him. A sama urdhva. Which means that no one is equal to or greater than him. Param satyam or the supreme truth. Is he who has no equal or superior. I am the control, the control. And then there is a supreme control. <laughs> we may think, but there, we are yet controlled by someone else. So, Asama Udva means not equal to him or neither yeah. greater than him. That means he is a param, he is a supreme. So, further it says that this confirmed in the Shruti Mantras, it is said that before the creation of material universe, there existed the Lord only. Narayano paro vyaktar. Even the chief Mayavadi who has given his Mayavadi philosophy that Lord Shankara also in his commentary in Sharadik Bhasha and Bhagavad Gita, he says that Narayano paro vyaktar. Beyond this unmanifested nature is Narayana. We'll just finish this paran. This is confirmed in the Shruti Mantras. It is said that before the creation of the material universe, the existed the only, the Lord only, who is master of everyone. That Lord instructs Brahma in Vedic knowledge. That Lord has to be obeyed in all respects. Anyone who wants to get rid of the material entanglement must surrender unto him. This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. So, this whole purport actually, maybe next class we will finish it. Yeah. So, here, <coughs> Prabhupada clearly gives idea. No need to do any brain exercise. Just read them. Contemplate, discuss, because only and only until you read it, contemplate and discuss, you will not understand the thing. And that's why it is said that katha, katha means what? It is a discussion. The whole Srimad Bhagavatam is a discussion between different personalities. Because only by the verbal exchange you can get the knowledge. Read it. Hear it, discuss it, and then realize it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Srila Prabhupada. Yes.